How's it going guys, Bryce Diney here, and today I'm gonna talk about car batteries and how to maintain them and how long each one should last. Um, each truck here and here I have, that's a 2002 Chevy Duramax uh, Silverado 2500. This is a uh, Chevy Impala 2010, and this is a 1994 um, GMC Sierra 1500. So each one has a different battery. Each one has a different battery lifespan. Each one has to be taken care of a certain way. How you take care of this one, as you can see right here and here, there's a positive and negative voltage. Um, these voltages is on the side of the battery. And if we walk over to the uh, Impala, it's more, I think of a car thing. I think most trucks are on side. But here, they're straight up and down right there. Um, so that actually would kind of make it an easier um, connection because, you know, uh, you don't got really anything in the way. Duramax has the same thing right there on the side. Uh, this one I know is brand new. I actually literally bought it probably about a month ago uh if that um because i bought this truck to work on it you're gonna see this truck hey this is actually introducing it because i was wanting to do this for a while but i will be showing you how to do different stuff that i learned through school um and show you guys on youtube how i go about fixing rust dents and stuff uh and even painting so this battery was new uh when I bought it, it was basically dead, and every time I'd try and start it, it would have a problem, so I just got a brand new battery for it. Uh, this one, I am not sure when uh, the last field. Yeah, it could be pretty old. That one's probably facing about four, I think about four years old. So normally those batteries would probably last about six years if it's maintained uh, really well, probably more if the battery doesn't collect a bunch of debris and stuff uh from the road so as we go over here this one is two years old um that was actually the first thing i did with this truck and that truck was replace the batteries that was the first thing i did this truck got a bunch of different things done to it the engine the transmission everything you basically see on this truck underneath the body's about to be in um in about a month so this truck's going to be completely rust free but this battery is quite quite new for uh what it is this one will probably last about seven years if not more so yeah like i said every once in a while it's not like a big deal if there's a bunch of uh dirt around it but definitely you could probably get a lot more um years or months out of a battery if it's cleaned off you're not supposed to use water on an engine um i heard if you do it maybe once a month or so or maybe even uh later than that like every once in three months or so um that that would probably be the best bet for the time of you getting by the battery not aiming for the battery but just kind of swap over it get a cloth or something a micro a microfiber i think that's what it's called yeah um cloth and just go around it it's not going to hurt anything a lot of people fib and say that oh my gosh your car won't start the, something will happen more than likely no i've washed this engine not facing the engine i used the distance so that it would moisturize the engine and then afterwards go off with a um cloth and get all the water off and then you know put your solution or whatever shine uh you want to use for the engine but yeah every once in a while just make sure your battery's clean um i'm actually due for probably a little engine clean but <laughs> um that's basically a way to maintain it also if you want to go further oh i got dirt i felt that <laughs> but um if you want 
you could also take your battery off at like O'Reilly or any type of uh, car parts store and they will actually be able to tell you how long you got left on a battery, what your battery voltage is still. Um, but that's about it for this one. Uh, see you in the next one.